A great tool built into Windows 10 is the Alarms and Clocks tool. This gives the teacher the uh, fast and easy access to setting an alarm to a specific time, using a timer, creating a stopwatch. There's a lot of these great tool uh, options built right into Windows 10. To get to your alarms and clocks, very simple, click on Start. In the Start menu, there is a program called Alarms and Clocks. Or you can click on Start and just begin typing alarms, and it will show up as one of the search options. When you open up Alarms and Clocks, we've got several different features available going right across the top, Alarm, Clock, Timer, and Stopwatch. Starting with our alarm, I can very simply create my alarm or use the existing alarm. If you need to create a brand new alarm, down in the bottom right corner, simply click on the plus that says New Alarm, and then choose what time you need it set. So maybe I want a reminder alarm set for 9.05, so the students know at 9.05 it's that time for whatever it is. I can name it, so maybe I'll say this is Break. And then you can set it so that it repeats every day, so it only repeats during the weekdays. Or I can set it to repeat on a specific day. It just depends on your needs for that particular alarm. It does have the option for a variety of different sounds. And then you can choose to have a snooze if you want it. Once you have that, simply click Save, and it will add it to your, uh, add it to your alarm dashboard. You can have multiple alarms. And you can turn them on and off very quickly just with a little slider. The next option is the clock. The clock just gives you the ability to see what time it is in various parts of the world. I've got mine set up already with a few different options, but I can quickly come in, click the plus, and maybe I want to know what time it is in Tokyo. I could type in the name, press enter, or click on it, and it will add it to my map so I know right now it's 324 where in Houston, and it's 624 a.m. in Tokyo, so I can very quickly see where they are. And then there is the timer. Inside the timer, I've already got timers created. This is a great feature because you can create timers for all different time limits depending on your needs, and then it will save them. All I need to do is simply come in, click on the plus, choose, maybe I need a two minute timer. I can name it if I need to and say two minute timer. And then I simply have to hit the start. When I click the start, that saves it. It does automatically start it. I can just hit the pause and then I can hit reset and it will take it back to the two minutes. When you're using the timer, anytime I come back into alarms and clocks, these timers are saved. So I can come back to my two minute timer really quick. Just I'm ready to start it. I hit the play. I can hit the little double arrow to go full screen and make it a big screen and it will start. So a very quick and easy option for the timer. And again, I can reset them as I need. So you can create a lot of different timers right here. I can just keep going to the plus and creating more. The last option we have in here is the stopwatch. Stopwatch is a traditional stopwatch. You hit play, it starts counting up. What is really neat, there's a little flag in here that's called laps or splits. So maybe you're timing lots of different activities for one thing or another to see how long it takes them to get the whole thing. So when I click the flag, it creates this lap or the split. And then the next time I hit the flag, it creates the next one and the next one. So I can keep tallies on how long it's taking for each task to be completed. Again, it does have the full screen option, so I can go full screen. And then, of course, it does have the pause. If I pause it, I can actually continue, or I can come back and I can hit the reset, which sets it back to zero.